Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry I haven't posted in a week or so. I've just been busy and tired, but I am showing you how I painted this butterfly house that I've had since last year in October um, and I'm just now getting to put it up and I thought that the wood grain was a little boring and plain so I just sanded it down and I am also grabbing some skateboard grip tape for a bigger grit so that I didn't have to go all the way to my garage to get actual sandpaper. So now I'm just sanding that down a little bit more because there was a lot of bumps and rough patches and I didn't, you know, like that. And I wanted it to look nice and flat and smooth. And then I also smoothed out the little entryways for the butterflies so that they didn't have little shards of wood poking out at them to hurt their fragile wings because that would have been bad. Now I'm just starting to paint the top and the sides of the roof, I guess, with just plain white. I did two coats of white, and I'm painting with the green, making sure to get in the, the cracks at the top. And here I got a different brush because that one that I was first using was just like crunchy and gross and um, filled with old dry paint. And it was not good. And then, like I said, I'm painting the sides also. And then here is the second coat, just so that it's nice and bright. The underneath I only did one coat because not many people are going to see it. I'm definitely not going to see it. Wasn't too worried about it. Um, this paint is pretty good with one coat. I just did two coats on the top because I thought it would look, you know, spectacular with two coats. But it does the job with one. And um, I will be linking the butterfly house and the paints that I use down in the description. And if you buy anything through those links I get a percentage so <laughs> you should support me <laughs> now I'm painting the little butterfly on the top and this was burned into the wood so I left the brown parts or like the the burned parts I guess and paint it inside and then when I go in with the color for the body of the butterfly house I'll go around the burn parts as well so it has a nice little outline for the butterfly that I didn't even have to do Then I went in with some pink and yellow to make a nice little gradient on the outside of the bottom wings of this butterfly just to add some color to it so it wasn't plain white.
after I was done with that, I took the orange, yellow, and pink from the butterfly and watered it down some and then splattered it on the top of the butterfly house just to break up some of that white space and add a little bit of color. I thought it was cute, so I did it. And now I'm adding the splatters to the sides of the roof part and I covered the front up so I wouldn't get anything on that little butterfly that I just did and now I'm going in with a green color for the base of the butterfly house and I'm just gonna paint the edges and around that butterfly and then the entire thing I've been watching a lot of videos recently on how to raise monarch butterflies and I bought milkweed seeds so hopefully next year we can get that through get them through the dormant phase where they're you know chilly for a whole season and then um, we can start growing them in the spring and attract monarchs and I can try to you know hatch some little baby butterflies caterpillars oh my gosh I'm very excited. I ended up hanging this right by my giant flower garden that I planted a whole bunch of wildflowers in along with some um, perennial leaf type things that also have flowers on them and um, I hung it on the inside of my fence along with a butterfly feeder that I also got for my birthday whenever I got this. And I'm hoping to attract some butterflies. I've already seen like 10 out there, but I want more. Like, I love butterflies. <laughs> Who doesn't though? Like, they're not even scary. They're so cute. Okay, their face a little scary, but it's okay. We still love them. I lifted this little door part up so that the paint wasn't getting into the crack of the door and the sides and that little door is so that you can put sticks in there that they can climb on and you don't fill the whole thing up you just like fill it a third way up or less with twigs and then they can hide in there and crawl around on the twigs and you know just just vibe in there. This is where I hung it up and I hope you guys like the video and like my little butterfly house. You should definitely get one to help attract butterflies around your home and don't forget to like and subscribe.